Hello, my name is Yanni and I'm here to tell you all about a new art project that's happening all across Gladstone. Now, this is very exciting and it's part of the Children's Festival, um, which goes from the 21st of May until the 28th of May. Now, the Gladstone Entertainment and Convention Centre has asked me to show you what to do. So, this art workshop is going to this one here, oops, down here. It's, um, we're going to create Gladstone's largest wind chime landscape and we're asking everyone to take part in it. So it doesn't matter if you're a family, if you're on your own or if you are a school or um, a daycare centre or a community group, you all get to take part. And this is what you have to do. We're asking you to make a wind chime um, out of natural materials. So what you need to do is you need to make your base first. So you get a stick like a bigger one and um, you attach some wool to it so we can hang it up and from that we're going to hang your treasures that you found while you were out on your walk either on the beach or just down the road so what you need to do next is once you've collected all your treasures so I found some gum nuts um, while I was teaching at Warabinda um, I found these ones there's some twigs some driftwood from the beach or I've got some dried leaves from um, just down the road in, in my local park. Um, dried leaves are perfect because they're so much easier to paint on than um, the fresh ones. Um, you can get some seed pods. Um, these ones here, they are, um, you've seen them because they are all around Gladstone at the moment. Um, maybe ask someone to go and collect one for you or you maybe find them on the ground. I've also um, got some pine cones that you could hang up. Um, they're actually from the Sunshine Coast, a bit harder to find them here. But what you need to do with them is um, you pick them up and you choose which one you want to use. Um, I'm going to show you, demonstrate you with a leaf. Um, so I've already started. So you make a line or you put some dots on there. You can put swirls on there, whatever you really like and what catches your eye. Sometimes when I look at something you can already see lines that are on there and you can just um, copy them. So with the leaf there's lots of lines going this way so I might just um, follow that and add a few more to the leaf. Now ideally you do both sides but just for now I'm going to show you um, what the next step is. So once you've done all your markings or your special decorations, you take a bit of string um, like that, you tie it to your cone, to your twig or to your leaf and you might want to use a double knot because the wind can blow it off pretty easily if the knot's not very tight. So you tie it on really nicely, tightly like that. And then you get your base, which was the big stick, and you tie it onto that one. So once you've done that, um, you can repeat that with all your other treasures that you've got. And in the end, it will look something very similar um, to this. So this one here, I did yesterday with my kids. So we used the pine cone and the gum nuts. And as you can see, I've added another layer to it. So if you are a big group, you can um, hang up this space here. And once that's full, you just add another bigger twig to it, or a bigger stick to it, I mean. And you add all the other ones down here. So that the two of them I've used a lot for um, school classes. And there's plenty of space then for everyone to add their creation. Um, once you've done that, once you've finished with your um, wind chime, we're then asking you to put it into a box and put your name on it and the name of your school, the name of your centre and put your creation into the box and then all you need to do is come to the entertainment centre um, before the 26th of May at 4.30pm and drop your box off. So and what I'm going to do with all your creations is install them at the library square just in time for the last day of the um, children's festival and there's going to be a 
big landscape just of your creations and it's going to look amazing. Um, I'm also running two workshops throughout the Children's Festival, so one at the, on the 21st of May at the Tondun Gardens and one on the last day of the Children's Festival, the 28th of May. So there's lots of chances to get involved and um, we're looking forward to see your creation and um, yeah, have fun.